Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 14 beta one. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this new software update and see what's new with iOS 14 beta one. First of all, let's talk about supported devices. iOS 14 will support the exact same iPhones as iOS 13. So if you have an iPhone 6s or the old iPhone SE, then you're in good luck iOS 14 will be available for your device as well. And now let's talk about the new features and changes of iOS 14. First of all, we're talking about the home screen widgets. Now we have been waiting for this feature for a long time. There have been a lot of concepts made about this feature and now it's a reality home screen widgets on the iPhone. And it's as simple as just dragging one of them. So you can see right here, we have basically these like widgets we can just go ahead and from the widgets panel drag them here on the home screen of the iphone or you can add them simply by going to the edit mode on your home screen so just go to the edit home screen and then tap the plus button right there now you will be able to add like different widgets that you will have here you can see a ton of different widgets from different apps you can search for widgets right here and of course just add them directly from here really quickly and very easy to use so just tap right there once you go to a widget of an app you will have like different modes so you will have like different shapes of widgets that you can add to the home screen now once you have found the one that you want to add of course you go ahead and tap on add widget and that will be on the home screen of your device you can see how cool this looks now this one is called stacks right here stacks is an amazing widget because it includes quite a few different widgets on it so basically in the morning it will show you like news in the evening it will show you something else it will basically update itself it is really really good another big new feature of ios 14 is the app library now app library will keep all your apps in one place so you will have to basically just swipe to the last page of apps that you have on your home screen and then just swipe like this and you will have app library right here now what you will find here are like different folders with apps so i have the social here i have the suggestions at the top you can see the, basically the apps that i'm using more frequently and i have the recently added apps right there so you can see i can just go ahead and tap on one of them to open it from there or i can tap right here you can see to open the folder as easy as that so you can see we have like three big icons and then the small ones you tap the small ones to open the complete folder and you can tap any one of those three to directly open the app now of course we have the library right here but we also have a search bar and if you tap on the search bar you will see a list of all your apps and of course you can also go ahead and search for any of them directly from the bar right there now with this feature added to ios 14 of course you don't need to have all those different pages of apps on your device now what you can do in ios 14 is go ahead and go to the edit home screen now once you go here you can tap on the page dots right there and it will show you all the pages that you have on the home screen of your iphone now that you have that easier way the app library the easier way to find apps you can go ahead and remove any of the pages from the home screen so i can go ahead and remove the last one and i only have two right here so once i go right there to the last page i can go ahead and go to the app library and easier find my apps now, as usual, when Apple does present the new iOS versions, they don't really mention some of the coolest features that they add. You can see this one right here. I can take a screenshot on my iPhone on iOS 14 simply by double tapping on the back of my iPhone. That's really, really cool. This is a new feature on iOS 14. You can go to settings, go to accessibility, and then go to touch right here. If you go to touch, back tap and then you will have two options double tap and triple tap if you go to one of them you can choose to perform an action from here so i can choose home triple tap there and my iphone will take me to the home screen or i can double tap to take a screenshot that's really really cool this is a new option within the accessibility settings also when you go to your settings you go to general and you go to iphone storage now you will have a new option here a search bar to search for any of your apps and see how much space those apps are taking up on your device of course if you have a long list of apps here you don't want to go through them you can just go ahead and search for them right here on the settings app 
Another big new feature of iOS 14 is picture in picture. Finally, Apple has brought this feature to the iPhone. So now when you're playing a video on your iOS device, you can detach it. And you can basically go ahead and place that like anywhere on the screen, go to another app and still have the video playing right there, which is really, really cool. Now you can move the, it around, you can resize it, you can make it smaller, or bigger and you will also have the controls right here and you can just swipe it like this and you can see now that little arrow you can bring it back like this very very cool and of course a very useful feature another big new feature of ios 14 is the new call screen now a lot of people have been waiting for this and have been asking for this feature and finally apple heard us and we have that new like banner style right there not that ugly call screen that will take up the whole screen of the iphone now you can dismiss the call simply by swiping it up like this and you're good to go you don't even need to press the red button right there very very cool and of course a very welcome feature on ios 14. There is also a new UI for Siri now, just like the calls, Siri will not take up the whole screen anymore. So if I launch Siri, you will see right there at the bottom, just a little circle, just that little animation right there. Of course, it looks really, really awesome and not like the old Siri. So that's really cool. And of course, a very, very welcome change there for iOS 14. iOS 14 will also bring a new translate app to iOS. This is really cool. Now iOS has its native translate app. Now, of course you can use it to translate anything you want here and it works offline with quite a lot of languages. But I, what I'm really excited about is the built-in translator in Safari. This is much better than the app. So if you go to a page on Safari, which is on another language, now you will have the ability to basically go ahead and translate that page right here in Safari. You can see that little icon right there which allows to go ahead and translate it to English so you can see enable translation right there and now we have a native translator for Safari that is of course very very useful there are also new features with the iMessage app now you can go ahead and pin any message you want to the top of the messages list on your device and also you will be able to go ahead and now mention people so like on group chats you want to say something to a specific person you can mention that person on the message using the at key just like you do on social media and when you go to the settings of your iOS 14 device, you will see now home screen. This is a new section that has been added. Now new apps can be added to the home screen or you can choose to automatically add them to the app library, not on the home screen. So if you don't want to have a bunch of new apps there, you just push them directly to the app library. And also you can show notification badges on app library as well using this button. On the wallpaper section, you can find now new wallpapers. Three new wallpapers have been added to iOS 14. You can see right now, this, these are still wallpapers. You have, of course, the dark and the light mode. Hopefully, Apple will add more on beta 2 or maybe any live wallpapers because we have still the same old wallpapers on the live section. Another really, really cool thing that you can find on the settings app with iOS 14 is the back button now has a history. So let's see here, if I go to accessibility and I go here to touch and I go to assistive touch, now I can tap and hold right there and it will show me the options here. I can go back to touch to accessibility or directly there to the settings. You just tap right there on the menu and you don't have to go ahead and swipe back like three or four times. You just tap the button and you're out of there. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is iOS 14, one of the biggest updates in quite a few years. I was really surprised with the new features and the stuff that Apple has added to iOS 14. Some of us probably didn't even expect that Apple will do such things like the home screen widgets and all that stuff. It's really, really exciting. Hopefully Apple will go ahead and add even more new features to iOS 14, of course, with the upcoming betas. So that's basically it to stay updated with the latest news regarding iOS 14. Of course, all the videos on the new features and all that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and not miss any of those videos. Again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.